Here we are, Brian the Lion, American in the Philippines. This is my place in BGC. And I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. So, had a little adventure, right? I was heading to the uh, Tagig post office on a grab ride, which is basically the local Uber. And I was trying to chase down a package that my father sent me from the States. And it's been floating around in the postal limbo for close to a month. You know, you hear about these international mail turning into this uh, epic quest, but living it is another level of comedy. So anyway, I roll up to the post office and they hit me with, uh, oh, we tried delivering it three times. My building's concierge, apparently where I live, they missed the memo or they never got it back to me, classic mix up. Uh, which is fine, uh, you know, that's not just a Philippines thing, this sort of run around can happen anywhere. Um, it's just life throwing you these curveballs. So instead of getting all bent out of shape, I took it as a chance to explore a part of the Philippines that I hadn't seen yet. And believe me, there's gonna be a video about this adventure because it was too good not to share. So anyway, I'm wandering around Taguig, suddenly I'm the novelty, I mean, I'm uh, basically the only white guy. I'm sticking out like a sore thumb, but not in a bad way. It's not every day they see someone like me just ambling about, and the reception was nothing short of incredible. I mean, people are waving, young women are flashing, their biggest smiles, and these kids, man, they're cruising around on their bicycles, tagging along. Hey, where are you from? Hey, bro. I'm from USA. Oh, Americano. So it was really cool. Um, it was like we're long lost friends. You know, it was something sort of like back in my childhood in America, it was kind of like that. Really heartwarming stuff. So something almost out of a movie. Um, just this instant connection with complete strangers. And the street food. So let's talk about that for a second. I snagged some fried chicken from one of the street vendors. I'm always a little bit skeptical, you know, because I don't even like to go to really restaurants because I like to cook my own food. So I grabbed a piece of chicken, it cost 15 pesos, which comes to 27 cents US. So about a quarter, which just blows your mind, right? So for, uh, for less than a quarter, or about a quarter, you're getting this delicious piece of chicken cooked right there. Reminded me a little bit of how my, my grandma, my nona cooked chicken like not too dry a little bit battery but not breaded hard to explain um, anyway flavors you just can't find uh, everywhere so and it's these kind of moments that make you stop and think what a time to be alive right i say that all the time but it's true so this whole experience from the post office run around to the impromptu neighborhood tour i was out there for hours i got a nice farmer's tan um, it's a vivid reminder of the genuine connections waiting out there beyond the familiar. It challenges your perceptions, not just about a place, but about people, hospitality, unexpected joys of everyday life. It's a, a lesson in going with the flow, embracing the unexpected and finding the extraordinary in what could very well just be ordinary. So that's the beauty of stepping out of your comfort zone, of immersing yourself in a culture that's not your own. You start to see the world through a different lens. And it's not just about the destinations or these little mishaps along the way. Uh, no, it's more like the stories, the smiles, the hey bro moments that stick with you, that reshape how you view uh, this vast complex world. So, so yeah, the trip to the post office turned into an unexpected journey. Took advantage of that, a reminder of how vibrant and warm the world can be, especially the Philippines when you just open yourself up to it, right? Take, take a chance. Um, you know, it's like I've always said, this uh, powerful truth, sometimes the most memorable adventures, the ones that you never really planned for, the ones that start with a little bit of uncertainty and in the end you're feeling more connected with the human consciousness, as cheesy as that sounds. So like I said, what a time to be alive. And you know, it's funny when you first say that you're moving to the Philippines. I remember my friends and family you get these wave of cautionary tales. You're like, oh, everyone's got a story about a friend, a friend who got mugged, scammed, 
you're gonna lose it, they're gonna take advantage of you, you know, you're a white foreigner, and you think, am I just walking into a trap? I traveled before, right? I went through Europe, Australia, so I wasn't really scared of anything, but man, let me tell you, the reality on the ground here, especially in BGC, it is nothing like what people back home paint it to be. I mean, BGC, where I live, is buzzing. It's like stepping into New York City, but you strip away the crime, the drugs, the scenes of homelessness that kind of mark the corners of every urban city in America, uh, which is quite sad. And, you know, I'm not trying to throw shade on NYC. It's just the reality of big city life there. I don't think it has to be that way. But anyway, I don't want to get all political. I think we're on the same page here. But here in Manila, it's a different vibe. You know, the streets are alive night and day, but not once have I felt that tension, you know, that sense that you got to keep looking over your shoulder. Right? There's this kind of security that's kind of refreshing. Um, don't get me started on the people. The warmth here is the next level. I was braced for the cold shoulder, the scams, all that. Uh, but what I got was the complete opposite. Smiles, help without asking. Uh, I saw a lady today, she tipped her scooter and she was kind of pinned underneath it. And three or four guys just jump out. And you know, I think that would probably happen anywhere, but it's good to see that they helped her out. And, she was fine, but man. So yeah, genuine curiosity, hospitality is just blowing me away. Uh, it's really eye-opening. It challenges what you think you know about stepping into a foreign land, right? So um, maybe navigating BGC, you might expect to feel out of place or targeted, but it's like the city's got this inclusive buzz. Everyone's doing their own thing and you're just part of the flow. It's, it's bustling, sure like any major hub, but there's an order in the chaos, a uh, communal rhythm that's fascinating to be a part of. And it's clean, and you're walking through streets that are maintained where people take pride in their environment. It really shifts your perspective. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you just throw caution to the wind, keeping your wits about you is smart in any city around the globe, but the fear mongering, the stereotypes, they don't hold up here. It makes you question a lot of these narratives that were sold about safety and what makes a place safe or free, right? Um, is it the absence of visible hardship or is it that presence of community and possibility of mutual respect? Because here in the heart of Manila, I'm leaning heavily towards the latter on that one. So yeah, I keep my eyes open, but not because I'm scared. It's because I don't want to miss a beat of this place. Every day is a new lesson in humanity and kindness. Strangers are offering this all the time and in the surprising kind of uh, places and ways that you can make feel your home. Uh, it's a reminder, to me anyway, that stepping out of my comfort zone, especially when it's painted as a risk, can be the most rewarding gamble of your life. Maybe it's a calculated risk, I don't know. And look, I'm not sure it's for everybody, um, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I encourage you to do your own research, do what's best for you, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Um, but again, what a time to be alive. Let's get up to some shenanigans. And uh, like and subscribe if you're so inclined. If not, um, dislike this video. I encourage your comments. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.